Alright. Hopefully, this is the last time I do this video. Because it has been done 15 different times already. As you can tell from my frustration. Anyway. I'm having a Etsy sale from November 15th, which is tomorrow, all the way until January 1st, which means that I'll be having a sale for a month and a half long, 10% off my entire store, and I wanted to make this video to let everybody know what products I do and don't have. Now, first off, I'm going to show you a lovely double-sided picture necklace. Now, mind you, this video is going to be long, so probably around 10 minutes, so uh, I probably will do something crazy or wacky or whatever. But anyway, this is a double-sided picture necklace. It is spring-loaded. Um, it is put together with two pieces of glass and some metal. Um, you can use normal pictures. Um, and going right along, because I have to make each and every one of these things short, sweet, and to the point... And I already have this thing locked up because I'm special and that's how frustrated I was. But anyway, this is a see-through picture necklace. Now this uses, um, what is it, transparent paper and black ink to create a picture. And you can use pretty much any picture frame for this. Um, let me see if I can fix this later. I will fix it later. But anyway... I can use any normal picture paper. Uh, it has two pieces of regular glass inside, so be careful uh, when you use it or when you're changing pictures because I don't know if you can cut yourself. I've never cut myself on it, but then again, I don't really mess with the picture. Um, next on my list is a beautiful cross necklace, as you can see. So there it is. These are all long chained, uh, probably right, right around the uh, middle to a little bit low, low hanging area. Uh, when you purchase this, if you want it to be shorter, say so in an email to me. Otherwise, I will ship it the, the, the same size it is on the description. So I can make this shorter and uh, for you. Next up, oh wait, I almost forgot. Next up we have a key necklace. So this is a beautiful key. I know some of you like keys or whatever. But anyway, I turned it into a lovely little necklace. Long chain again, so it is very beautiful. Next up is a choker. This is the long choker. So I only have one of these left. And it is put together with some ribbon. And uh, it has a extendable back, so if you lose or gain weight, it'll still fit. So, um, next up, let me get these out. My Peridot bracelets. Now, this, this one right here has some silver beads, and this one has clear beads. That's why there is a difference between them. One is shinier than the other, of course. You can see which one, which is which in the photos on my Etsy page. Next, I have my amethyst bracelet. This is made with the same silver seed beads as the other one. So it's very, very pretty. Um, and then these two. This, these are the police-inspired bracelets. Now, this is for the ladies, of course, but I did create a unisex to go with it, made with the exact same beads um, on the base, so they just look the exact same, as you can see. They're just embellished right here. So, all of these are done with toggles, so you don't have to worry about, you know, putting a lobster clasp on, because why put a lobster clasp on a bracelet? Why? Eh. Anyway, moving right along. Oh, wait. Yes, I moved right along past these. These are my prides and joy. If I can get all of them up here. These are my... Oh, let's see if I can get it up there. These are my beaded earrings, and I will go through each and every one. Um, this is my Easter or springtime... Uh, earrings. Now these of course have a double dangle um, which is quite beautiful. These are a gemmed piece 
And as you can tell, they have a gem here and then they have a gem on the other side. So as you can see, quite beautiful. And these are the Gothic inspired double dangler, you know, red and black. Um, these are the Halloween or fall inspired. These are not dangler, but these are gemmed. Unlike these, that these are not gemmed. These have no gems on them whatsoever. They're just seed beads and pearls. And these are the fall inspired. These are gems on both sides, everybody. So, and then these are my pretty, pretty Valentine or February inspired earrings. Uh, these have um, violet pearls right here with a clear seed bead and these are pretty 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 let's see oh to go with the key necklace I also made some pretty little little though these are for like little girl earrings or or uh, adult earrings I mean these can be for little girls so these these the the um, earring bit will not like there is pure it's silver so it's pure silver I'm blabbering. You can tell how well I have done this because I am just gone. Anyway, these are for like little girls or any adult that really want to wear something key and you know, fr you know, fresh and they're they're nice. They have a little um gem right here. So yeah. And okay, I did all of this. Did all oh wait, we haven't done these. Okay. I I haven't yeah I'm rushing through all of this again <laughs> but anyway I have these beautiful uh, rainbow paracord bracelets there are three of them but all three are different okay now I know what everybody's thinking right now why did you make them different why not just make them everybody the exact same size and you know blah 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 because I wasn't thinking that's why uh, anyway, this is a paracord bracelet with the button clasp. Of course, it's it's really long. And then we have the relatively little bit shorter, but it has the um, loop and knot or toggle. And then this has a red one, which is a little bit shorter. But um, these two are for adults, these two right here. And then the little red one is for children. So, and then we have um, paracord bracelets again. Let me see if I can get them all. There we go. All situated, of course. The buckle clasps again, but we have a solid black, a solid red, and a salt and pepper. So all of these are done quite beautifully. All I got to do is 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 pull and there you go. Well, not pull, but um, where it just pull it out and just pull it and, and then you've got instant rope, something to burn, um, something to tie somebody down with. I mean, survival bracelets, people. Come on. They're awesome. Anyway, they are this. The solid black one is for children. It is is small for like, I'd have to say from five to uh, small 10 year olds from five to 10, something around there. It'll fit. It's quite small for, um, that for a 10 year old, probably. Uh, I haven't really tested it on a 10 year old, but that's what the size, the size is on the internet. But anyway, uh, both of these will fit a normal person. So this one's a little bit bigger for bigger people. You know, as you can see, it is a, it is a little bit bigger. I mean, if I wanted to, I could put it on, but I'm not going to. But those are all of the things that I have on my Etsy store. Link down below. Of course, uh, if I do get a hundred uh, likes or followers for my uh, Etsy store, I will be giving uh, uh, doing a giveaway. Also for my Facebook page because that's how I'm able to keep track of who's doing what and you know who's actually following me for the the giveaway. But once you once you like and we get a hundred likes, I'll be giving out a give. I'll do a giveaway and get a whole bunch of, you know, hoopla about that. But anyway, 
Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll probably make another video, you know, later on this week, uh, doing another, like, impromptu thing. But hopefully it won't be as long as this one because it's, like, what, 12 minutes long or something? I don't even know. Like, it's... I don't even like it, but I'm going to just sit here and say screw it and edit it and just get it all out there because I know I need you guys to see it. So anyway, have a nice day, everybody. Bye.